Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Six Kingdom Classification. This will be the first quarter topic, week 5 and day 2. And this lesson is under the matata. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to. First is to describe the six main kingdoms in the biological classification system, such as Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protesta, Archaea, and Bacteria. The second one is to classify each organism based on the hierarchical taxonomic system of classification. And the third one is to appreciate the diversity of life and the organized system used to study and categorize living organism by answering the guide questions. For the explicitation, let the students accomplish the activity 4 which is all about pair me. For the direction, match the column A with column B and write your answer on the space provided. For the first question, a biological classification is one of the highest taxonomic ranks just below the domain, used to group together all forms of life that share fundamental structural and functional characteristics. The answer is letter B, Kingdom. For question number two, it is a classification level beneath kingdom and groups together organisms with smaller body plants or structures, allowing scientists to further categorize and study different types of living things. The correct answer is letter G, phylum. For question number 3, it is a classification level below phylum and groups together organisms that share even more specific characteristics. It consists of several orders. The correct answer is letter D, class. For the fourth question, it is a classification level beneath class and further organizes organisms based on even more specific similarities in their characteristics and behaviors. It allows scientists to group together organisms that are more closely related. It consists of several families. The correct answer is letter C, order. For question number 5, it is a taxonomic classification that groups together organisms with even more specific similarities, such as similar body structure and behaviors. It helps scientists categorize organisms into smaller, more closely related groups for further study and understanding. The correct answer is letter A, family. For question number six, it is consists of several related species. The answer is letter F, genus. And for question number seven, it is the most specific level of organism classification in biological taxonomy, representing a group of individuals that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring in natural conditions. Members of this species share common characteristics and genetic similarities. The correct answer is letter E, species. 
Carl Woos groundbreaking RNA research in the 1970s challenged the traditional five kingdom system. It introduced the Archaea domain, refining our understanding of life's diversity. Carl Woos he is the pioneer of molecular phylogeny. Molecular biologist and American microbiologist and biophysicist. National Medal of Science awarded in 2000 for his revolutionary work and RNA research focused on ribosomal RNA to uncover evolutionary relationship. Archaea discovered, identified Archaea as a distinct domain of life. The following are the six kingdoms of life. First is the Archaea, second Bacteria, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. This classification is based on genetic relationships, not just physical traits. It reflects evolutionary history and molecular differences. The following are the characteristics of Kingdom Archaea. It is a prokaryotic structure. Archaea lack a nucleus and they also lack membrane-bound organelles. Also, it is extremophiles. They thrive in extreme environments. This includes high temperature or salinity and diverse type. Methanogens produce methane, halophiles live in high salt concentration, and thermophiles inhibit hot springs. The following are the characteristics of kingdom bacteria. So it is prokaryotic organism. Bacteria are single-celled organism and they do not have nuclei. It has diverse metabolism. They use photosynthesis or chemosynthesis and many are heterotropic. So it has ecological rules. Bacteria are essential for nutrient cycle. They also aid in decomposition and for the health impact, some cause diseases like pneumonia, others are beneficial for digestion. The following are the characteristics of Kingdom Protesta. So it is eukaryotic cell. Protest cells contain a nucleus. They also have organelles. It has a diverse group. This kingdom includes algae and protozoa. Slime molds are also protest. So variety of life, they can be unicellular or multicellular and they are autotrophic or heterotrophic. The following are the characteristics of kingdom fungi. So it is a eukaryotic heterotrophs. Fungi have chitin cell walls. They obtain nutrients from others. And also it is essential for decomposer. They break down organic matter effectively. And this returns nutrients to the ecosystem. And it has diverse forms. Mushrooms are reproductive structures. Yeast is used in baking and brewing. Mycorrhizae form symbiotic relationships. Penicillium is a source of antibiotics. The following are the characteristics of Kingdom Plantae. So it is a multicellular autotroph. So plants are multicellular organism. They produce their own food. And for the photosynthesis, they use chlorophyll for energy conversion. Sunlight is transmitted into energy. And Kingdom Plantae has vascular and non-vascular. Vascular plants have transport tissue, while the non-vascular plants like lock these tissues and they have cell walls. Plant cells have cellulose walls and this provides structural support. The following are the characteristics of Kingdom Animalia. So it has multicellular heterotrophs. They are animals Animals that are multicellular, they consume other organisms in order to survive. It has no cell walls, so animals lack cell walls. Collagen provides support. And it has diverse body plants. This includes vertebrates. It is also includes invertebrates. Example, 
Sponges are simple animals. Insects are very diverse and mammals have fur and glands. For the work example, present this video to the class which is all about the basic taxonomy, six kingdoms of life classification. And afterwards, the students will answer the following guide questions.